Hello my friends, Amy Esther here, and it is week 38 of my pregnancy. I am not happy to be here, let me tell ya. Y'all, I have a story for you. I really was hoping that what I'd be filming right now would be holding a sweet little baby, but I am not. Because I'm having contractions right now as we speak. And I'm pretty sure I'm in labor. In fact, I'm, I'm really sure I'm in labor. I just don't know how long it's gonna last. Let me get to the story. So first of all, you guys, if you're new here, I'm Amy Esther, I have several chronic illnesses. I make videos about my life with chronic illness and pregnancy with chronic illness, and I'm 38 weeks pregnant. And I have an entire playlist of every single week of my pregnancy. So I'll link that down below if you wanna see every week of my pregnancy. And I'm pretty sure this is my last one. <laughs> I'm pretty dang sure. I will be very surprised if I make it week 39. But y'all just have to wait and see. You're gonna just have to be subscribed to my channel so that you see whether huh, whether this baby is coming in an hour from now or in two days from now or in a week from now. I don't know, you guys. But hopefully this is my last pregnancy update that I'm making for you. Let me tell you guys what happened this week. Been so crazy. So first of all, I usually film these on Fridays. I'm filming this on Thursday because I've been having so many contractions and you'll hear the whole story in just a second, but just wanna make sure that I get this out there and I'm bored out of my mind. I'm trying to find stuff to do, so we are making this video one day earlier than I normally do. So, first of all, huh, it's Thursday. On Saturday, last Saturday night, I started having um, contractions in the middle of the night. So I woke up in the middle of the night just from feeling really tight and had a contraction or two, wasn't anything regular. I knew it wasn't real, but it was definitely stronger than my normal Braxton Hicks I'd been having. And then Sunday night, same thing. Had um, just, I think twice I woke up Sunday night with really strong contractions. But again, they weren't regular. I knew they weren't real, but they just felt like my body was getting ready. And this is something I didn't experience with my daughter. Um, I This is my second pregnancy with my daughter, not my second pregnancy, this is my second child. <laughs> I've been pregnant a few times, had some miscarriages, another story. But um, my second baby and my first, I was induced and I had no signs of labor. And I was dilated to a one when I went into the hospital. So I like seriously had nothing. Nothing was happening minus like just getting gigantic and normal Braxton Hicks. So. This was new to me. I knew that these contractions were different than I experienced before, but I also knew they weren't real, but I just felt like, okay, my body's getting ready. Then, uh, Monday morning, I had an appointment with my doctor and he said I was dilated to a two. Now, to a week before that, at my 37 week appointment, I was only dilated to a one. So that was really good news, that things were changing and I also, was pretty sure that I had started losing my mucus plug. And so um, I just knew that things were changing and he said, that's a good sign, you know, that things are dilating and that you're losing your mucus plug, all good signs. So I left there and that night I had again contractions in the middle of the night um, that woke me up, but again, weren't super painful, just were really tight and not regular or anything. Tuesday night, um, Tuesday evening, I should say, Tuesday evening, I had regular contractions start and they were six minutes apart. Now my doctor told me to go to the hospital when they were four minutes apart. Um, so I was just waiting. I just thought, okay, this might be real. They're happening every six minutes. They were not super crazy painful or anything, but they were definitely like a good tightening feeling and they were very regular. So I, I have my washing machines going off in the background sorry if you can hear that but this is just what we're going with today and sorry my background is different than normal y'all i'm just kind of going crazy today because this baby this baby oh my gosh anyway um my bed's not made just i'm using a different camera lens and um microphone all the things so sorry if the things are a little bit different today and sorry if you hear my washing machine in the background okay back to the story so Tuesday night, I had those contractions every six minutes um, and then they just stopped. And I was like, oh, bummer. I really was hoping they'd keep going, get stronger, get closer together, all of that. But at least that's a good sign, like my body's getting ready. So Tuesday night, same thing. I had those super tight contractions in the middle of the night. 
Um, but again, nothing crazy. Um, and then I actually forgot this, um, Tuesday night when my contraction started, I was really, um, what's the word? Cramping. <laughs> Sorry, brain fog. I had really bad cramping, just like period cramping. And it lasted all night long, um, through the morning. Um, it was just really, really bad. Um, and then it would get a little bit worse when I'd have a contraction, but I wasn't in a lot of pain when I had contractions minus just the period type cramping that I was having. So that lasted all night long. Next morning, I was having really random um, contractions. I was having a hard time tracking them. I had gone on a walk just to see if that would help like move stuff along if things were happening. But it just, they were just really random. Like sometimes it was eight minutes, sometimes it was 12 minutes, six minutes. They were just super random and I was still having cramping. So I called my doctor just to make sure like the cramping was normal. And he just said, you know, if your water breaks, if it's four minutes apart, four to five minutes apart, um, go into the hospital. And I was like, okay, well, we'll just wait, see what happens. So waited throughout the day Wednesday and nothing really happened, but I just felt off. Like I just felt nauseous, TMI, but I had diarrhea, which is also a sign of labor. Um, and I just felt like I didn't really have an appetite. Um, and I just felt kind of sick but I knew that I wasn't like sick, if that makes sense. And I just felt really off and I felt like something's happening. Something is happening here. <laughs> and um, so Wednesday night, middle of the night, I wake up, so this morning, 1 a.m. I wake up and I have the most powerful contraction that I had had this pregnancy. And I was like, whoa, that, that's super, super strong. And I went in to go to the bathroom and I was having contractions every two to three minutes. And they were super regular, just like every two minutes um, contractions. Oh my gosh, my washing machine is so loud. You guys, this video is gonna be just a disaster, but it's just happening. This is what we're going with today because life is just crazy right now. And anyway, so I was having contractions every two to three minutes and they were so strong like they felt so real it I felt this pressure that I hadn't experienced before with any of the contractions that I'd had but I felt like pressure and that's the only way I can describe it is just like this ton of pressure with every contraction I just I just knew they were real like they just felt so different and they weren't extremely painful but they were so often and they were so powerful that I was like, I think this might be real. And I had just talked to a friend the day before who had told me that her second baby, she didn't have a lot of pain at all until her water broke. And so I was like, okay, this could be real. And if I don't go in, I'm not gonna know. And what if it, like, what if this baby's coming soon? Because they were so close together, like two, there's like two minutes apart. So I immediately go in and I wake up my husband and I say, I think we need to go to the hospital. <laughs> and so he gets up and he's like, should we wait a little bit longer? And I was like, I don't know, they're only two minutes apart. Like I'm kind of nervous to wait any longer because we had to have my in-laws come over to watch my daughter and they live about 20 minutes away. So it was like, okay, 20 minutes for him to get here. And then we have, you know, 10, 15 minutes to the hospital. So. I feel like we should call them right now so that by the time they get here, like we'd want to be leaving in 20 minutes, right? Um, so we called them immediately and we just said, you know what, this, we think Amy's in labor. Can you come over? They immediately came over. We had them like they knew. Um, my, my parents and my husband's parents both had their phones on loud just in case. Um, case we needed them and so they came over they stayed the night with my daughter and my husband and I left and we went to the hospital and I got there and I was just barely at a two like what well, she said like a soft two she's like I would say like it's a good two like it's 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 a good two is what she told me and so I hadn't made a lot of progress since I had two days ago but I was like these contractions are so strong they're so close together I feel like these are real, right? So um, she said, how about you stay here for a little bit and then um, go on a little walk, we'll see if you progress. So I went on a walk 
um, around, we just like circled the hospital. Well, just like the labor and delivery section. And of course it's COVID time and all of that. And so it's, it's even crazier. You have to wear a mask and all the things. So I just walking circles and we come back after about an hour and she texts me and I was at a three and I was like, okay, this is good. Like this is real, this is happening. And so she said, that's still not quite far enough. Um, your doctor wants you a little bit further before we like decide to admit like that you're officially in labor. And so let's go another two hours. And at this point, I think it was 4 a.m. She said, let's go another two hours. And at 6 a.m. I will check you. And she did give us the option to go home. She said, you could go home, but there's like also a pretty high likelihood you have to just come back. So if you want, just wait two hours. Um, you can walk around a little bit more, see if we can get you a little more dilated and officially claim you as being in labor. So I walked the halls for an hour straight, I think an hour and a half, I don't even know. I had hit 10,000 steps by the time it was 6 a.m. <laughs> so I had been walking a lot that night. Um, and I actually let my husband sleep and I was just like, I'm just gonna go walk laps. And I walked and walked and walked. I just sat on the birthing ball. I tried all the tips and te techniques and all the things. <sighs> I felt good, like I was having a lot of contractions. They were getting stronger as I was walking, you know, sometimes I'd have to like kind of stop, um, but I felt like I could still breathe through it. They were getting more painful, stronger. They were about two minutes apart still. Backtrack real fast, around like 3 a.m. she checked me um, and she had me like lay down for a while and my contractions were every four minutes apart at that point. And I felt like it was because I was laying down, which is why I got up again after I had dilated one centimeter. I was like, okay, we're gonna get up and move and see if we can get another centimeter going, get to four to five centimeters in the next two hours. And so anyway, as I was walking, they were coming every two minutes. I was timing them. It was just like on the dot every two minutes they were coming. They were really strong. I could still walk through them. I could still kind of talk through them, but they were really strong. And so I was feeling really hopeful. Like I'd already dilated one centimeter that night. I was like, okay, we got this, this is real. And I go back in at 6 a.m. and I hadn't dilated anymore, so it was exactly the same, still three centimeters. And I was like, no. So they sent me home and it is now, what time is it? Oh dear, 2.32 in the afternoon. And since I've been home, I have had consistent contractions all day long. Um, I've had a few while I'm talking here. Obviously I can still talk through them. They're really tight, but they're not as strong as they were last night. Um, I would, maybe they're like as tight as they were last night, but they're not like super painful yet. And they're just not progressing. <laughs> and she told me once you are having them, uh, like where you can't talk in between them, like you need to stop everything you're doing, you wanna scream, or your water breaks, then you can come back in. And so I'm like literally just sitting here all day having these contractions regularly every couple of minutes and they're just not getting any worse. <laughs> and it's super frustrating. Um, I feel like I, I have definitely lost more of my mucus plug just today. Like I started losing it a while ago. I'd heard sometimes it comes back if you lose it too early. So I don't know if that happened, but it's been like coming out all day. That's super gross, but um, there's things happening and my contractions are really tight and they're happening every couple minutes, probably every like four to six minutes right now. They're not quite as often as they were last night but I don't know what to do you guys I don't know like I feel like I'm in labor because I'm still having contractions just non-stop they haven't like slowed they've slowed down but they haven't stopped and I don't know if in an hour from now I'll be making a video saying hey we're heading to the hospital I'm having crazy contractions they're super painful I'm screaming on camera or if it's three more days and I'm still not giving birth like it could go either way and it's so so frustrating like I just wish I had never had any contractions at all I wish I was just at a one and like just knew okay I'm gonna get induced next week and 
I don't have to even think about the symptoms I'm feeling right now, but I every little thing I think about, every little contraction, it just keeps happening, so I try to get my mind off it, and then I have more contractions. And you guys, I feel like I'm in labor, but it's just so dragged out, like so dragged out. And I don't know if I've progressed any more today. Um, since they aren't getting more painful, probably not. But it's just so frustrating because that first hour I progressed a centimeter, which is what they want, about a centimeter an hour. And then all of a sudden it just stopped. And now you guys, I am just trying to make it through today. I'm trying not to go crazy. I am trying to figure out what I should be doing. Um, we decided on my little one sleep at my parents house tonight just in case we go you know we have to go back to the hospital tonight we have to call people over but it's hard because i don't know like it could still be three more days away and i could just have a super long dragged out labor i don't know this is so crazy so you guys you need to make sure you subscribe to my channel so you see what happens I am really just praying to be in a lot of pain soon. Like I like literally have gone on my knees and prayed for pain. Like I just want to be in intense amounts of pain. I'm having contractions during this whole video. I'm having contractions and they hurt, but they're not taking my breath away. They're very tight. They feel like a lot of pressure. They feel real. They feel different than Braxton Hicks, but I don't think they're progressing and it's a real bummer and I wish that I was doing this video with a baby in my arms because last night I thought that today I would be having a baby and now there's still a possibility he could come literally any day any time now I could just start having crazy contractions and it could move really fast my water could break and it could start move really fast so I'm sitting on towels anywhere I go and I'm just trying to get through today and pray that these contractions pick up and get stronger and this baby comes soon because I am going crazy. <laughs> so you guys, that's week 38. Oh man. Oh, this is crazy, but hopefully my next video is you meeting my baby that's the plan so tune in for monday's video uh it better be my baby <laughs> and thanks for joining me on this kind of crazy setup it's not pretty and nice and i have my washing machine going in the background and you probably can't hear me very well because my microphone is not my good microphone but whatever hopefully this worked you guys are amazing see you next time